Hello, do you like my smoky eyeshadow? <laughs> I love your outfit. It is a gorgeous outfit. Yeah, because I have stuff all over my arms and improper jewelry, I decided to accentuate my breasts. It's not improper jewelry. <laughs> I think it's good jewelry. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Alicia Shaw. <laughs> I, I went to an opera when I was in fourth grade and it was Aida and I hear this one's actually humorous as opposed to ending with double suicide. You know the same dude actually wrote Aida. Oh! And I am Anna Minzer. And we... We... Um, the Santa Fe Report. The Santa Fe Report. <laughs> we do, we do. Okay. <laughs> and we're from the Santa Fe Reporter. We Report. are from the Santa Fe Reporter. Checking out. Recovering Falstaff. Hooray! Do you know the story of Falstaff? We are <laughs> so uncultured. <laughs> A little bit. So, so it's based on Shakespeare's on play, The Merry Wives of Windsor. Uh -huh. And at the end, they make fun of Falstaff. And they're, they're angry with him because he's trying to have affairs with two women at the same time right. for, for financial gain. And so the final insult is that they dress up as fairies in the woods. One of the women sends him a note saying that they'll have an assignation with him under the haunted oak. And um, he goes there, but he's very superstitious. And so he is terrified by all the fairies. <laughs> So wary now. I didn't have enough for everybody. So, <laughs> but I had thought at one point everyone would wear wings, but then we did garlands instead. No. That looks delightful. What does it say? Today? It says Windsor uh, and the decorator. And let me tell you, it's unbelievable. Let me eat things. What did you eat today? We'll be all we had salmon, oh. ribs. Chocolate covered strawberries. Uh, green beans. <laughs> oh, I like green beans a lot. The girl's hungry. Let me fix your plate. <laughs> so, you're drinking a rock star so you can stay awake during the opera? Send it to me. Do you think a problem to stay awake during the opera? No, not during Falstaff. That is the most favorite band is Falstaff. Look, it looks like urine. Look at those mirrors. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> You knew me when. <laughs> Hopefully there'll be a next Thank time you. if this all goes well. Oh, hi! Do you get to see the opera? No. Really? We have to we wait outside until the show's over. Do you ever get to see the opera? No. Not unless we buy them, like, by ourselves. Yeah, but Aww. other than that, we don't have any, like, connections to get in. Are you ever scared someone's gonna run into you? Yeah, we actually have people take off on us. Sometimes, from, like, after the show, we have to direct them out a certain way and they don't want to go that way. So they take off and we <laughs> run after them. Last summer they had someone run over a worker's foot. Really? Oh my god. Right. What Did happened they... to them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice to have some Oh my god, look at all these throngs. <laughs> these are throngs of satisfied opera goers. Fall stuff. Hooray! This so, it was beautiful and humorous and full of brevity. The performers were incredible. There's nothing that can be faulted about any of them. Um, particularly outstanding were Laurent Nayori, who plays Sir John Falstaff. Absolutely amazing. Laura Giordano, Norman Reinhardt, the individuals who played Nanetta and Fenton. I thought that their voices were particularly beautiful. Oh, she has such a beautiful voice. She had a really, really beautiful voice. That's where the gorgeous. set design, the that set tree design was part, incredible. With, like the when I pushed it forward, and it was like floating, so <laughs> surreal. Last piece was just so visually captivating. I thought it was very painterly. But yes, all in all, a fabulous night. Yes. <laughs> Monstrous. Like, what are these things called? Monstrous Cluster fuck. <laughs> Parking this lot. This is what happens when when good people leave the applause early. Good parking goes bad. If it was ever good in the first place. Nuts.